In today's video, I'm gonna show you the key levels that I am watching so that you can be more prepared for the potential moves that are about to come this week. My name's Tony Pollock. I've been a full-time trader for over five years. When I was first starting out, I lost everything multiple times because I didn't have someone showing me the information that I'm about to show you. Let's dive into these charts and let's start with SPY. So SPY is sitting at a really big level as it always does right before the big raid announcement this Wednesday. So it all depends on how SPY closes into this area around 565. If we close strong above 565 this week, expect retest to get bought up and we are gonna crank higher and my levels that I'm watching are 570 and 600. 570 is a huge call strike level. So the options are telling me this is a very high demand that people are watching and it most likely ends up being some sort of resistance this week. If we go through it, then it's just going to squeeze even higher. But look for that to be a resistance around 570 on SPY this week. 600 is a level that I'm looking at because it is the expected move of this inverted head and shoulders that SPY has. So over here, we have a left shoulder, we have a head, and then we have a right shoulder and we are working through the neckline at the moment. So if we start closing strong through there, that validates our inverted head and shoulders retest back into the neckline should get bought up and we are going to crank all the way up to $600. That is going to be a fantastic trade that I'm going to be watching and being prepared for. Now the scenario for the bears, if we claim 565, which I believe is going to happen this week, but if we do claim 565 and start to give it back, that is a sign of weakness. Bulls need to remain very, very strong through here. Well, we know that there's quite a few bull candles in a row. We know a pullback is coming very, very soon. The question is, how big of a pullback? Well, if it goes all the way through and hits everybody's targets and the bulls start to exit through here, this is a game of dumb money versus smart money. Smart money has already bought down through here, these dips. And what they do is they take profits going into new all-time highs. Dumb money is simply FOMOers. They're seeing this big move. They're like, it's leaving without me. This is the time to buy it. It's going to go to the moon. And so smart money is always selling the dumb money. It's that pocket of liquidity on spy up through this area where simply a lot of transactions are going to happen. So there's a lot of people buying as we go into new all-time highs and there's a lot of people selling to those buyers going into all-time highs because all these bull days in a row make a heck of a lot of sense to pull the rug out, exit out. It's an easy way to get filled on things and to let this thing drop back down. So I will be looking to personally take profits as we break into this supply zone. Watch the reaction because it's possible that we continue to go higher, but Profit taking through here makes a lot of sense since we bought down through here last week. So taking my profits, I'm still in. So if it continues to go higher, great. But I would expect some sort of pullback. Now, where is it going to pull back? If we get that little wick up there and a drop, it should pull back into 555 to 550. Both of those are really big levels that I am currently watching for this week. 555 should be met by a lot of bull demand. So you can see this is the demand zone that we're sitting into right here at 555. It possibly extends down to 550. That's another huge options level. So just like I pointed out for 570, I'm using the open interest that my broker is showing me to give me an idea of where bulls and bears potentially could be at. Where are the heavily defended zones that they're watching and 550 is a big one this week so 555 is another big one and it's a support it makes a lot of sense for the bulls to hold through here if we do make an all-time high and pull back into this buying zone it still is a buying zone but a lot of the bulls have taken their profits now we have to just watch for the reaction see if bulls hold this level for it to go higher because if not it could potentially reverse and start sinking back down so there's a lot going on and it's all going to depend on the Fed and what they do. Do they cut rates? Do they hold off on the rate cut? Do they cut more than expected? All of this is going to change what happens in these markets. Just know this is very, very extended. It needs a pullback. A pullback is normal. It's necessary. If you can read these markets and figure out how to listen to them, because the markets are always giving us clues about what's going to happen next. If you understand what to look for, how to identify these clues, you can be steps ahead of the markets with high probability. This month in our real life trading community, I'm currently teaching price action, how to identify these clues, how to read these markets, identify these levels, so that you can get your confirmation from other things rather than just the move, right? You don't have to wait for all of this move to come in before you know it's bullish. I knew it was bullish down here. 
just like if we start to drop you don't have to wait for this thing to take off all the way down before you short it down here you will get your confirmation up here because your confirmation is going to come from other things rather than the move if you want to learn how to do that at the end of this video i'm going to include a portion of last week's coaching from the real life trading community at the end of this video so if you keep watching to the end of this you can watch for free the coaching segment where i give my first clue as to how to read strength how to understand if it's gaining or losing strength so you can have your first clues ahead of time to understand it should you short this should you be going long before the move actually happens again that's included at the end of this video so just watch the end and enjoy that free coaching so let's jump on over to the cues so the cues are very similar but they have a lot further to go to get to their levels and so i believe that dips should continue to get bought here on the cues it needs a pullback based on how many candles we have here it doesn't mean we're going to get one but i wouldn't be shocked at all to see a pullback come again we have a demand zone down through here around 468 all the way down to 462 very strong level i'd be watching reactions in this spot to see if the bulls step through and push in possibly a new all-time high again it just depends on what pal does the next ticker i want to talk about is apple we had a huge gap down to start this week out that is a very bad gap but we are sitting at a key level. So if you look at this, we have a left shoulder ahead and a right shoulder. So this is a inverted head and shoulder on Apple. If the bulls can step back in and hold this level, get us back up above 225, Apple could be screaming higher and really making moves up in like 260, 270. So that is a very real possibility. If these bulls do not step in, and they start to get rejected we start to give up this 215 level we could be sinking all the way down to this red line which is the 200 ema possibly even back into this box area through here so it could be extremely weak this is not a good gap at all for apple but it did gap and hit right into this key level so bull should be here let's see if they reverse bounce this thing back up and again that is another great trade if it can play through that's it for the charts this week i hope it helps you to make a little bit more of a game plan for this week to be more prepared and more confident in your trading now enjoy this clip of price action that i taught to my private real life trading community just this past monday so we are back into a very crucial level so let me draw this up the bulls crush 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 and it gets to a place where there are more people taking profits and bear stepping in than people are buying and it starts to pull back and your bulls are sitting through here waiting to buy the dip and it comes down through here and they buy it on back up and now we hit this spot again the previous spot where the bulls were not strong this key level is going to really show you how strong the bulls are because what we do at our previous week area is going to give you really strong insight on what's about to happen. If, let me just move this down some, if we come back into this level where the bulls previously lost it and they start to crank through it on very strong candle closures, the bulls are now doing something here that they couldn't do here, which means they gained strength. The bulls are gaining strength as this thing is going. But if we come up to here and then it pulls back, this is the area where the bears gave it up, the bulls gave it up, and then we push back into this area again, and then it starts to hesitate in this area and starts to drop, that is telling me usually that the bulls are losing strength that they, they weren't strong enough to push it through here the first time and they weren't strong enough to push it through here the second time. That's the start normally of a double top. This is your key level that you're watching for the bulls. And again, we'll get into the bear side of things here later on next week. I'm trying to just keep it step by step. Again, we got plenty of time. This isn't going anywhere, right? As long as you remember of all access pass, we're gonna be doing this stuff every week, every Monday. So this is a key level to figure out, are the bulls strong? So how can this help you? Well, let's say you buy this thing down here and it cranks and then it pulls back and then it does this and closes strongly through this key level. What are you thinking? I'm thinking take some profits, but this thing's going higher. Why? Because the bulls are gaining strength. Where they were weak, they blew right through it. So it's going to continue most likely. And again, it's all about probabilities. But there is a 
high probability that we are going to come back to its next key level. And guess what? The markets continue to make this move, right? We blew through its key level and then it pulls back down and this is the new key level. And then it comes back up and it blew through that, still strong, comes back down. This is the new key level to watch. If it comes up through here and then starts to kind of hang out without being very strong, now you know this bull move is getting pretty close to being over with. So instead of taking your profits here, you were able to hold and let the charts tell you because your emotions are sitting back and going, I'm up $300. I just got to take it. I don't want to give it up. But now you have logic to put behind that and scream louder than your emotion. If you get this, it's not a guarantee, but the probability is over 60% that it's going to at least revisit this new key level. And then if you get a couple candles hanging out here, then you can take your profits. But if it continues to break through these and break through these, that you just keep holding because the bears are not stepping in. The bulls are continuing to gain strength. How cool is that? Type in a one if that makes sense. Two, if you need me to explain that again, I'm happy to explain it as many times as we need. We're learning some stuff here. We're starting to be able to look at a chart now and be like, oh, well, that's pretty cool, right? So some examples here. We've come up and it pulls down. We now have a new key level. If it breaks through that strongly with strong candle closures, it's most likely continuing. The game's going to happen. If we hit this resistance and the bulls really struggle to get strong candle closures through it, you'll know the difference. You'll see just boom, screwing right through that. If you don't really get that, and even if it does barely kind of close, but we're not really making progress to the bull side, odds are it's gaining weaker. It can go higher, but the probability is now, it now skews to about 60% chance that it's going to reverse and a 40% chance it's going to continue higher. So it can still go higher with this. I'm not saying it's guaranteed going to reverse. It's probabilities. Your probabilities are now skewing to the downside if you get this price action. If you enjoyed that price action training and would like to be with me live for the next two training sessions that I'm doing, just click the link below and start your two-week free trial of the All Access Pass membership inside of our private real-life trading community.